he kind of, you know, he kind of got me on that one. That's right. I, I need to be a little more serious than I am. I mean, I'm not a – my goal isn't to be a Noah Khan, but I'm kind of acting like one. Because, uh, I'm not taking it as serious I, as I, I should. I think that's the whole point of the plagues. I, I don't think Judaism for everyone. I mean, we jump into it and we think it's a great idea. Yeah, I love God of Israel. I want to be Israel. And, you know, you, you're like, okay, I'm in for it. And then, you know, and then you learn along the way, ah, oh, man, I, I can't eat bacon cheeseburgers no more. Ah, uh, you, know, like, you know what I mean? It's just like, okay, maybe it's not for you. Maybe you don't stay in the encampment. You know, that's why the right. journeys... You know, it says in the 42 journeys that there was a plague on each of the journeys and people died. Mm-hmm. You know, what does that mean? Because people didn't, people couldn't hack it. You know, some people wanted to move on, do something else. Let me chime in on this a little bit. I've been listening to what What's you guys up? been saying. First of all, that we have to keep Torah intact here. And when we argue Torah or discuss Torah, we have to make sure not to mess with the Torah's integrity. Even throwing the idea Noite or a place for a Noite, the term Noite doesn't even exist. Mm-hmm. With the notion of a Gerto Shav doesn't exist pre-Sinai. Jethro, if he was anything... He was entering the covenant. He was as much as as part of the heir of Rob, because I'm sure there were other Midianites in that group of the mixed multitude, and that mixed multitude ceased to exist. Because Abraham at least according to the text... Abraham did call himself a Geir and a Toshav in... That case, God calls Israelites Gerim on his land. So it, it's a descriptive term. It's not an adjective. It's not what it's become nowadays. Okay, And Agreed. nowhere in Jonah... Does it give us the hint that these were Gentiles? It just doesn't say, because of course no one is familiar with the great Noahide king of Nineveh. Because according to the story, that's so, your rabbi. I had, yeah, that that was ridiculous saying that they were Goyim. That's- I'm not saying they were Jews. I'm not saying they weren't Jews. The text doesn't say. We shouldn't use later notions to interpret older scripture, right? If the text doesn't say it, God is telling them to repent. That we know. In Isaiah, I think 55, it talks about, let the Nochri not say that God would keep him out of his covenant when he keeps the Sabbath and circumcises himself and all this stuff. In other words, Rashi writes in that portion of the Torah where it says a ger lotone, a ger you shouldn't oppress. He says that that means the ger it's talking about there is anyone, Hebrew or not, ethnic Israelite or not, who happens not to live in the land of Israel. Agreed. You know, this means that you could be part of the nation's and still be in the covenant, which is what we call being Jewish nowadays. There's no such thing as being Jewish, okay? There's being in the covenant and not being in the covenant. Every Israelite that was not required to live in the land of Israel, they were required to make a pilgrimage three times a year into the land of Israel. We know there was a huge community in Alexandria, right? This whole thing that Israel is viewed like Ireland and France is viewed like a nation is a very modern Zionistic idea, right? I mean, in Torah, I mean, even when they crossed the Jordan, there were tribes that stayed behind to be the watchmen outside of the land. You know, so living on the land is not as important as the religious Zionists make it seem nowadays. Okay. I'm just saying that we have to deal with what's in the text. Now, I believe in the seven laws of Noah, but I don't believe that they actually have anything to do with Noah or his descendants chronologically in the Torah. Right? I believe they were developed by the court, by the rabbis, to adjudicate Gentiles living on Jewish lands. But I don't for a second believe that there was a group of people walking around believing the Torah was true, saying that we're just going to live by seven laws when God made no distinction, right? The God in the Torah said, don't mix wool and linen. And he said, burn the evil from amongst your midst. He made no distinction. So for us to walk around picking and choosing or for a Noah to walk around picking and choosing, saying that God commanded me to keep seven laws and he commanded you to keep more is already the creation of a new religion. Now, Agreed. I know that Midrashim teaches this. There's many, there, there's folklore and legend. Everything metaphysical in the rabbinic world has a halachic root to it. So the seven laws, like I said, laws created by the court to adjudicate Gentiles living in, the, in Gentile lands. And later on, folklore and legend took a hold of it and put a twist on it and said that six laws were given to Adam and the seventh law given to Noah. It's like everything. Anything metaphysical typically has a dry legal basis to it, right? Because people get bored with the legal and they want to be taken on a mystical trip. Fine. But when people start taking that seriously and then kind of redirecting people who are leaving one serious religion in search of another serious religion, right? People leaving Christianity, leaving Islam, you know, religions with structure, with an ethical backbone. And in return, they're given a set of seven laws. It's a joke. You know, when someone comes. Yeah. uh Yeah, go ahead. No, it's a slave's. It's not even a slave's law. 
you live by if you were a slave to Israel, you would be given more responsibility than those seven laws. <laughs> well, think about it. That we can't lose sight of the fact <laughs> that the Hebrews oh. left Egypt with a mixed multitude. And, and every rabbi who comments on it, and all the Midrashim and the Talmud say that they were more of them than of the right. Hebrews. Okay. You know, so it's not like but there a lot were of no wives. off for the golden calf, too. And they so. were Hebrews. Yeah, you, you got to remember. No, the Torah doesn't say that. Of them kind of got... The Torah doesn't say that. That's a Midrash. Rashi says there that when says that your people or the people that you brought out, the Midrash teaches that Moses converted them on his own in Egypt. And this is why he calls them your people, right? Which is stupid. It's nowhere in the text like this. You know, many Orthodox Jews, I mean, sometimes they quote Rashi and they think they're quoting the text, but it's not in the text. Nowhere in the text does it make it seem that they could use Gentiles or the mixed multitude as a scapegoat for, for the sins of Israel, because Jews do it all the time. I remember there was a, my friend in Israel, that he's a Haredi Jew there. And he told me, like, you know, there's all these scandals about Orthodox rabbis in the schools molesting the kids. And they're like, oh, well, those are our former priests who converted to Judaism, who like still had that urge for young boys. They're always using other people as scapegoats instead of taking, because they have this notion that there are no enemies. Well, from but anyways, as long as there's a mixed multitude in the text, there can't be a notion of Gentile amongst the people of God. If you're walking with God, you're about to be Israel or about to leave Israel. A ger toshav with someone who happened to find themselves in the midst of the land, you know, Canaanites, you know, who didn't want to convert. But, they but look, if they don't, if they don't take, doesn't Halakha say if, if this if this ger who's among you, this toshav, now I won't say ger yet, but let's say this guy who's with you doesn't take a slave that you capture, doesn't take a vow to keep the seven laws for his sake. He's sold or gotten rid of, or they'll do whatever with him. He's not going to be a part of so there is a, there, I mean, you can't, I mean, there is a process. He's not, that doesn't mean he becomes Jewish. He's still a slave. A slave is something Christ different. Okay. Him. So let's but, separate what the halacha says with what the Torah says. Okay. And I believe well, in the halacha, but I have no problem assuming that a lot of these laws were created later on by the court, just like for the deed. But the halacha is that if you purchase a slave who refuses to convert because every slave were circumcised and given a quasi conversion. They have the status of women in Judaism. In other words, they're, they're bound to keep commandments that aren't time bound. It's saying that if he doesn't want to go through that quasi conversion, he at least has to take upon himself the seven laws. If he refuses to do that, then you have to kill him. But this is a, a slave you acquire a non-Jewish what, what, slave. What, what, what people like me are, uh, you know, what do you mean? Like well, I say, why are you not Jewish? Because most Jews aren't going to consider me Jewish. You're, you know, the thing is, the <laughs> sad part is, as far is as that you're Jewish in the covenant people. already and you don't even know sure. it. And you're walking around saying that you don't keep commandments or like you're not making an attempt to keep commandments, even though you know they're true. Yeah, that, I do. That makes For no instance, sense. on Shabbat, I will not play my guitar. My children, my, my wife. Yeah, but Christian. you still identify as but a But I Gentile. take the time. I, my girl brings me guitar, wants me to play. I won't play it. It's not, it's one thing I do. I don't have to do that. I'm not you, bound by Halakha to do that. Okay, but you're picking and choosing what you want to keep. You still identify the Gentiles. Because I can't keep them all. Why not? Because I'm in a position, God's put me in a position that would make me choose between being Jewish or being a father and a, and a no, husband. No, 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 no. Okay. Ah, but there are more not of his things I think. Not being she's able not to keep convert. them all is one thing. You were saying that I'm trying convert. to keep them all to the best of my ability is another. Because well, that's, that's kind of what I mean a bit. Yeah, I, I do things. I take things on because I know I, I have to. I know I, if, I, I feel wrong playing guitar on Shabbat. I know you, it's wrong. But it do you feel like God expects you to keep these laws? Uh, I don't know if God right. expects it or not. You know, because according to the anyway. text... He tells a bunch of Gentiles, the term Gentile is a much later notion, you know, a bunch of godless individuals on that mountain, like made up of Hebrews and mixed multitudes, to choose life. I mean, he's trying to convince them. He's like, choose life that you shall live. By keeping these laws, you'll be choosing a life of blessing. He says later on, I think in Deuteronomy 29, he says that anyone who doesn't commit himself to keep this law shall be cursed. Anyone, anyone. But nowadays, you have Chabad, your rabbi is walking around. Huh? What? I still get Nevela. But I'm not. Am I? Am I not an Israelite? Am I not part of the community? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't get Nevela. That's the thing because you're Why? not really a Ger Toshav. You're in the covenant already. A Ger Toshav is not in the covenant. A Ger Toshav doesn't know even how to probably comprehend the oneness of God. Doesn't he at least have to take the seven Noahide laws? 
That's a rabbinic n- notion that was created later on. The text doesn't say that. Okay. And the text doesn't even say well, that a ger tosha would even but, have to be monotheist. But an authority, but an authority source does say that. You, you know, it does say give it to the give it give it to the ger, sell it to the nochri. So there's a ger and there's a nochri, both are handy. But I, I get Nevela. Or not, a dog. Huh? Or a dog, or you could give it to a dog. Oh, you could give words, it to a dog. Okay, that's fine. But no, it's the same notion. Away, but by the like, law, don't throw the meat away. Like when you have cattle near you, that could right. consume it. But if it's but if if they if if the if the animal jerks and it's not a kosher slaughter, I got steak for a year. Are you freaking? Or at least I could. You know? Are you kidding me? Me and my friends. Could, yeah, but that's could, not you. That's a thing. Unless you are no, no, yourself with way, godless but, nomads but of that I, region. I'm, Right, but I, 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 there is a halachic difference. Is all I'm saying. A much later halachic difference when these people weren't in existence. It's authoritative, anymore. right? No, no, no. It's, it's not, not in terms. Way. Wait, hold on. It's okay. not in terms as a holy status. In other words, if you want to say that it just means docile Gentile in the land of Israel, that's one thing. Okay. okay? That for sure, exactly. there's a basis for. Now to say that it's some sort of fourth holy house of Israel and you get a share in the world to come for keeping seven laws, that is not halachic. I'll, I'll take docile goy any day. I'll take, you know why? Because I'm in Israel. I would take docile goy any day compared to anything outside of Israel. Yeah, but what is I, it? I, I, would, I would rather yeah, have... The Torah doesn't thing. promise you anything I don't you know, mean anything, spiritual that's about it. good for me. That's, that's perfect for me. I get spiritual achievement anyway. Because I get to study with rabbis, I get to I get to look at the text. I can learn some Hebrew. All right, so it, you can't even claim to properly worship the God of Israel because the only way you worship I, the God of Israel is by I'll, keeping His laws. Yeah, well, I'll kill any man who says I don't. Oh well, there, you see, and there's resentment too. So you have all the patterns. <laughs> if you're going to pick on the Jews, you're going to have to go through me, and I might not be Jewish. But you ain't getting to them. But before yeah, you, it get sounds to like them. you're a proud second class citizen. But you don't have to be because you're not really. I'm not born into the covenant. I don't, you don't have, have to be faith. born into the covenant. You, you're what? already in the covenant. I mean, like, yeah, as a gear, not as I'm a gear. There's no such thing as a gear covenant. Nowhere in the Torah. No, nowhere the Torah in rabbinic covenant. Judaism. The the, 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 gear, the gear is a part of the halacha. He's a yeah, part. That has nothing to do with the covenant. James, you missed the whole yeah. point of my whole spiel that I gave in the beginning of the hangout. What what you you completely missed the point? I thought you were speaking from Israel's standpoint that we accept them as one of us. That's a great no. That's a good philosophy, but it's not in practice. They won't even let Jews in the door when they want to be Jews. Yeah, but who's they? That's the thing. Your relationship the is nation with God. of Israel as oh, a screw whole. the nation. Screw the nation. They don't well, have a monopoly on God. I the can't Torah. Do that. The Torah belongs to God and whoever wants to accept it. And it says this at the end of the Rambam and Hulos Malachim. It says that it's for the children of Jacob and anyone who desires to convert. Well, you know, I'm not a child of Jacob. Yeah, but you desire to convert. That's okay. That, you know, he says desires to convert, not converted. In other words, he understood that there probably would be a time where Jews would be stupid enough to lock their doors and keep people from coming in when every Jew is fighting to get out. It's, you it's know? too bad I'm stupid enough to believe I married the love of my life. No, you don't have to yeah, leave that's, your that's, wife. That's where God, no, that's, that's, honestly, that's where God almost, 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 almost takes an equal seat in my life. She's not going to convert, and she's got my babies. All right. So you don't have okay, to. Okay, what am I supposed to? No, I am not going to be held to the choice of being an Israelite or being a goyim or a half-ass. I will not take the status of half-ass. And you hold and on, any, on, other, any other Jew out there can kiss my hairy white ass. Hold on a second. I am not, no. I am James. not I'm a second-class human <laughs> being because I cannot. Because James, I have got set me up as a Christian. No, I am not less of a man. I'm not less of an Israelite. Wait, hold on. You're still viewing it with rabbinic lenses. According to the Torah, according to the Torah, who says that you have to divorce her? I can't eat kosher in a kitchen that she's not going to eat kosher. Not according to the Torah. Oh, yeah? That's a rabbinic prohibition. What about the community? What's the the point of converting without a community? There's no... I'm not having two babies. Hold on one second. According to the Torah, there's no Shit. requirement to live in a Jewish community when you convert. Forget about rabbinic Judaism. I'm a rabbinic Jew. But try to keep Torah in its purest form if you can't keep it in its rabbinic form. I Understand? frankly don't think anybody knows Torah in its purest form nowadays. But just pick up the five books. I, it's right I, there. It's all equal to me. Everybody. It's got to be that way until 
something's until we can agree on something and we don't agree. We agree that there's a Torah, but we can't even agree on what it says or what's important. Or I think it, we, I got my, I got maybe 20 years left. Lucky on this planet. I am not going to squabble over being Jewish to something. My wife who will not be Jewish. She's not there yet. She's not going to be, my kids are going to be influenced by our Christian relatives for the rest of their life. I'm not cutting them off from their family. They're going to go to dead dude on a stick. I can't stop that. All Forget I about being Jewish. Person. Just identify with a covenant that's in the Torah. That's it. But that, you know, to, that comes with the people too. Not necessarily. Not give, necessarily. Up, give up this last the the rainbow age. covenant. Give, uh, you know, for, I'm going to speak for Pride Month because it's Pride Month this month. Let me cue for a little Boy, bit. Well, give the rainbow. Pride yeah. Yeah. Uh, give up the rainbow for the real covenant. The the the, the star of David with the blue stripes. Give give it up for that, James. Do it for me, brother. Go 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 big or go home. Go for the real deal. I don't upgrade. Know what I'm supposed to put on my hat there because it's a Noahide hat. See the rainbow on the where Mario is, where the M is. I don't know what to put on there yet. I'm looking for that. Oh, Gear. that fits in for Pride Month. It's a shame that the rabbis, with their barriers that they've put up, they're actually responsible for less people keeping Torah on this planet than if they ever existed. You know, think about it. They've made things worse and not better. And I'm a rabbinic Jew. Because like for them to say that a Gentile should be proud to be a Gentile and not at least accept Torah, how the Hebrews and the mixed multitude accept the Torah, is unbecoming of someone who claims to worship the God of Israel. You have people like James who identify as a servant of God and is still being told to break the Sabbath. I mean, he's still being told that he's a Gentile. I it's, am. You're not I a Gentile. You're I not a been, Gentile. I haven't been sniffed and dunked. <laughs> You're a Hebrew, James. You crossed over the river. You crossed over. I'm that's the skin. It. I am on the skin of Israel. The Torah doesn't say you have to be James, dunked either, by the way. In all I'm honesty, the skin. James, that's why you're here. I mean, I could hear it in your voice. I hear it coming out of your soul. What? It pours out of you, Torah. Like, you love it. You literally that's love it. Such a fight, Will. Yeah, I'm a freaking James, addict. I'm not going back. So James, there you go. I still look at my veins, baby. <laughs> James is struggling with it with this right now. He's he he's putting up such a fight with Rabbi. In the name up. of Moses, come out! I rebuke the gay spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear it there. It's like if you're like in a house of worship, and there's someone who owes you money that you just start prophesying in front of the whole congregation. Come out, gay spirit! You want to dress like a woman? You want to wear makeup? Huh? <laughs> Not in this house of God. <laughs> Con you. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty safe to say, Rabbi, that there's only one covenant that actually matters, and that's the actual covenant God made with the, with Israel, and it's the Holy of Shavuot, which is what this is coming up when Sunday, Sunday, right? This is coming Sunday, and so 